Welcome to a shocking story from one of the darkest times in human history. Today, we delve into the tragic fate of Francesca Mann, a young Polish woman who was forced into a deadly striptease at Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. Her story is both heartbreaking and inspirational, reminding us of the horrors that can arise when hate and intolerance take over but also highlighting the incredible resilience of the human spirit even in times of unimaginable suffering. So buckle up and prepare for an emotional roller coaster as we uncover what happened on that fateful day when Francesca faced her brutal execution. Francesca was a young Polish woman who was sent to Auschwitz in 1942. She was put to work in the camp's brothel where she quickly became one of the most popular girls. However, Francesca's popularity came at a price. The SS guards began to take an interest in her, and she was soon forced to perform sexual favors for them. One day, an SS officer named Hans Frank came to the brothel and demanded that Francesca would strip for him. She refused, and Frank flew into a rage. He ordered his men to beat her and then had her taken out to the execution grounds, where she was publicly hanged. The Auschwitz concentration camp was an extermination camp located in Nazi-occupied Poland, operated by the Third Reich during World War II. It was the largest of the Nazi concentration camps, consisting of three main camps, Auschwitz I, Auschwitz II, Birkenau, and Auschwitz III, Monowitz, and 45 subcamps. The majority of the victims were Jewish people, but also Poles and Roma, or Gypsies, were killed. Auschwitz I was the main camp, which held prisoners from 1940 to 1945. The other two were satellite camps. Birkenau, also known as Auschwitz II, was built in 1941 to 1942 as an extermination camp. Monowitz, also called Auschwitz III, was an IG Farben factory slave labor camp. Most prisoners there were not even Jews. The execution of Francesca was a brutal and bloody affair. She was stripped naked and tied to a stake in the middle of the Auschwitz concentration camp. A Nazi guard then read out her sentence, death by firing squad. Francesca was marched out to the execution ground where a group of Jewish prisoners had been gathered to witness her death. She was forced to kneel down and the guards opened fire. Francesca was hit by multiple bullets and died instantly. Her body was left on display as a warning to other prisoners who were then forced to march past her corpse on their way to the gas chambers. It is estimated that Francesca was one of just over one million people who were killed at Auschwitz during World War II. The details of Francesca's crime are not known, but it is believed that she was involved in some way with the resistance movement against the Nazi regime. Her execution was carried out in front of a large crowd of people at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Eyewitnesses report that Francesca was stripped naked and tied to a stake before being shot dead by a firing squad. Her body was then burned in a crematorium. The brutal execution of Francesca served as a warning to other prisoners at Auschwitz and helped to deter any further resistance to the Nazi regime. Francesca's execution was just one of many baffling incidents that took place at Auschwitz during its years of operation. The camp was a place of death and suffering in an unimaginable scale, but it was also a place where strange and inexplicable things seemed to happen on a regular basis. The execution of Francesca was brutal, and many people were shocked by it. Some people said that it was too harsh and that she should have been given a more humane death. Others said that the execution was justified because she had killed so many people. After this tragedy, it is important to remember that the Holocaust was one of the most horrific events in human history. The story of Francesca Mann and her fatal striptease serves as a reminder that despite attempts at normalizing life during wartime, no one could escape the terror imposed by the Nazis. Let us all honor the memory of Francesca Mann and all other victims of genocide by never forgetting their stories and making sure such tragedies are never repeated in our lifetime. If you found this content informative and thought-provoking, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more chilling stories from history.